Jeff Carry On. We are in Pilsen in the Czech Republic, or Czechia as it's now called. Why Pilsen? Pilsen is home to the Pilsner beer. It actually is named after the town of Pilsen. Pilsner is a type of lager, which now makes up roughly 67% of all beers sold around the world. And we have to thank the town of Pilsen for that beer. Pilsen's about an hour, hour and a half train ride west of Prague. And I just came out for the day to get a, a, a tour of Pilsner Urkel, or Urkel, and the mosquitoes are out today. <laughs> with their beer and they did a little revolt and they poured all their beer out into the streets and they basically came together as a pack for the city of the community to start making a better type of, better type of beer <laughs> German word for stored or warehouse. The tour, you, you visit the fancy new bottling and uh, packaging facility, which is pretty. pretty see the historic brew house and all the copper vasks. The Pilsner Urkel is a little bit unique because it is all heat fired. It was the first bottom fermenting. You see the new fancy contemporary brew house, by the way, which is ridiculously hot because of the heat fired, one of the hottest rooms I've ever been in. The highlight of the tour is the 16 kilometers of caves where they store all the beer down below um, the brewery. The process of a fermentation death. The barrels are fermenting the beer real time. Real beer. Whether you're a fan of a Pilsner type of beer or a Pils beer or not, uh, you have to kind of respect the fact that Pilsner Urkel it created the, was really the motivation behind Bud Light, Coors Light, uh, Heineken, Bex, any type of light lager around the world or Pilsner, really it all started. By the way, in the comment section down below, tell me what's your favorite Pilsner? Last but not least, well, you know, nothing what's unique about the tour is you. Uh, do your sampling in these cellars, in these caves, uh, out, straight out of the wooden barrels uh, where all the beer has been stored. By the way, the yeast that they use in the beer is still from the original yeast, goes all the way back to 1842. They just keep growing that and multiplying that, which is, is a super cool fact. So the verdict on the brewery tour, it's pretty solid. Uh, the underground, which I read about this before coming, but the underground, the underground is probably the best part of the whole tour. It's just absolutely massive. Uh, and they actually do their beer tasting 
down in the underground, which basically these massive caves that were done from, dug out of sandstone. Um, that's where they used to store their beer. But that, you know, having done a variety of brewery tours, that's unique to them and kind of cool. Hey, last but not least, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, or share the video if you thought you uh, someone I might like this cinema link. Hey, it's Jeff Carry On and Carry On. And once you finish the tour, you get a nice cold frosty one.